from the Hobo Railroad over there in Lincoln, New Hampshire. Paul, how are you today? Great, Rob. It's nice to be back in North Conway. Yeah, great to see you again today. Yeah. And uh, so let's talk about the Hobo Railroad. I know there's a whole bunch of stuff to talk about, but let's give the, uh, the general Hobo Railroad overview first. Sure. Well, it's a family-owned operation owned by the Clark family and uh, was started in 1987 by Ed and Brenda Clark. And Ed is actually one of the cousins of the Clark family who started the Trading Post. Yep. And uh, so they started with a, uh, with a railroad there in, in Lincoln. Uh, travels on state-owned rail south along the Pemichawasset River down to Woodstock. It's about a seven and a half mile trip one way and they make it round trip. It's, uh, it's a very family-oriented uh, tourist railroad, and uh, they expanded that back in uh, the early 90s when they uh, expanded their lease down into the Meredith area and then took on the Winnipesaukee Scenic Railroad. So now they actually have uh, 54, 55 miles of rail that they have access to from Lincoln all the way down to Tilton, and they run two different railroads. Uh, we run from uh, early May until uh, 1st of November with both railroads, and then uh, we come back alive again in Lincoln uh, Friday after Thanksgiving with the Santa Express trains and the Polar Express as well. Right. Right up until just before Christmas. So, it's, and I remember, I remember riding it that first season in 1987 and uh, just being able to go on a train and a classic train is so much fun. I, when I was a little kid, we rode the train down to my grandparents' house in Maryland yeah. and so I've always had this love, this fascination of trains and Modern trains are cool, and I love them, but going on to those old coaches and everything else, it's, it's just fabulous. It is, and they they done all the work there in-house. They have uh, uh, some Erie Lackawanna cars uh, from the 30s that they've completely restored in-house. All the sewing, all the seats, all of that has been done by the family themselves. Uh, the, uh, then they also have some Bud cars that were from the 50s from the Boston area and those have been restored as well. So the, the experience is, much of a, is very much a, 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 um, a relaxing family experience uh, in restored coaches. And they, it's very, uh, we kid people about unplugging and enjoying the train, you know? Right. Because your world is so busy these days, you know, you can't, you can't get away from your phone. But we encourage people to do that and just sit back, enjoy the rocking of the cars back and forth, look out the river, look out the windows and enjoy the river and people kayaking down the river, uh, spend time talking with each other. And, and one of the very fun things that I've noticed about it is that you get multiple generations enjoying the train at one time. Yep. It's not uncommon for grandparents and their kids and their grandkids to all be on the train at the same time. And that's encouraging to see. Yeah, and like you mentioned, the view, you know, you're going you're going down the rails and seeing stuff that you're not going to see otherwise. You can't right. see it from the road or anything else. You're seeing it only from the train. Yeah, for sure. And I've lived in this state most of my life. And uh, even down in Winnipesaukee on the, on the Meredith Rail, uh, going around Winnipesaukee up through Meredith and, and Weir's Beach, you see it from the roadway all the time. Right. But the train travels on the other side of the lake, on the western side of the lake. And you don't get a chance often to see that view. So... Um, as much as I've been around that lake over the years, to see it from the other side is totally different. You think you're in a new world. Yeah. It's really quite something. Yeah, I've done that and, and sometimes exactly that. I'm like, where am I? <laughs> what? I can't, you know, you can't get your bearings, but yeah. you know you're on a train, so it's not like you're gonna get lost, but, but that's a lot of fun. We just had a nice photo there of, uh, of the train. And uh, you talked about there's some other events going on right there in Lincoln and Hobo yeah. and Hobo-ish. We, uh, we do have a lot going on. It's really quite a hub of activity. We, uh, every Sunday we have what's called Storybook Sunday. We partner with the folks in Believe in Books Foundation. And uh, this Sunday we have Clifford the Dog as the character. And on our platform we have a reading uh, at 12.30 and 2.30. Folks come over from Believe in Books and they have a character. And it's all free for, for families and kids, anybody who wants to enjoy it enjoy it. And then um, uh, we also started a program last year, which actually in its very first year won a Best of New Hampshire award. And it's called Nature by Rail. And it's a partnership that we've created with the Squam Lakes Natural Science Center and Bank of New Hampshire. They actually bring instructors from Squam Lakes up to our facility. They ride on our trains at 11, 1, and 3 out of Lincoln. And they talk about the plant life and wildlife that surround the train as they're going on their hour and 20 minute round trip. Once we get back to the station at 12.30 and 
uh, there's live animal presentations right there on the platform. So there's no charge for that part of it. And because Bank of New Hampshire is involved uh, as the uh, underwriting sponsor, there's no additional charge for the program on the train. So uh, our regular tickets of $16 for adults and $12 for kids applies. And uh, thanks to that whole partnership, it's working very well and very well enjoyed. Um, yesterday we had a program and we had a mink on the, on the platform there. Last weekend we had a beaver. The weekend before that we had a peregrine falcon. Next weekend we have owls. So it's a pretty cool program. And once again, you're in a nice relaxed setting on the train. The instructors go table to table to table with artifacts uh, about animals that are um, mm -hmm. from that area. So you get to learn a little bit about that, and you're in a relaxed setting. So you can do it as a family and have some fun. Well, that, I mean, that just sounds that sounds great. I've done uh, several things over the years, gone down to the Squam Lake, seen their presentations, and I mean, you're talking top-notch presentations. Yeah, absolutely. And like you say, combining it with the train, yeah. I think that just, just, there you go. That's your afternoon yeah. right it's there. It's pretty That's unusual. As far as we know, we're, it's a pretty unique program. There's not many around that are like that. And uh, we approached Squam Lakes with it uh, a year ago this past January, February, and they were excited about it. And then when we approached Bank of New Hampshire, they were immediately on board with it. And uh, so we're going to ex expand it next year as well. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah, it's going to continue to grow. And, uh, and then we're bringing a new program online for uh, September. Uh, we're excited about this as well. It's called the Hobo Harvest Time Express. We're going to really kick in and celebrate the fall foliage season over there. And uh, what we've done is we've actually partnered with the Anna Lee Doll Company on this. And uh, on our grounds at the Hobo Railroad, we're going to have, we've got a big, beautiful playground out there now and a big yard with all, all kinds of gardens and so on. But scattered throughout the gardens are going to be 10 different movie scenes that people are going to easily understand what they are. But they're all going to be life-size creatures created by the Anna Lee Company. And they're all going to be posed in these famous movie scenes. Oh, neat. Like Singing in the Rain with Gene Kelly, uh, Saturday Night Fever with John Travolta, Star Wars, Mary Poppins, uh, Forrest Gump sitting on the bench. And it's all going to have a fall theme. So instead of Forrest Gump with Life is Like a, a Box of Chocolates, it's going to be like a patch of pumpkins. <laughs> and we're going to have pumpkin bowling, and we're going to have all kinds of fall activities uh, out there as well. And, uh, and then on the train, you'll be able to sample free samples of fall-flavored uh, food products that we'll have, all from the Moulton Farm down in Meredith. And so as you ride in the train enjoying the music uh, that we play through the sound system there, you'll be able to get these free samples right at your table and enjoy that, and then come back to the station, enjoy those, uh, those uh, posings with those movie theater, movie uh, scenes, get your pictures taken with them, and Anna Lee dolls are going to make some smaller versions that people can actually buy and take on oh, them. That's terrific. It's a very cool partnership, and they're actually celebrating their 80th year in operation this year. Wow. And so, uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to kicking that off. It goes from September 20th to October 19th. Now, if people want more information, you have a website. We do, hoborr.com, and uh, they can also reach us by, cell by telephone at uh, 603-745-2135, seven days a week. And uh, so definitely check that out. And uh, with the Hobo Railroad, you can get the links for both the uh, Lincoln train and the Winnipesaukee Railroad. Absolutely, yeah. And, uh, and I will just throw it here. We'll finish up. But I want you to tell me about the, the new uh, rail and sail down at the Lake Winnipesaukee. The rail and sail is pretty exciting in that uh, uh, years and years ago, this railroad's been around since the 1800s. It was known as the, the uh, Boston Concord Montreal Railroad for many years. Uh, they actually owned the boat back in the 1800s called the SS Mount Washington. Switched hands in the early 1900s and it was called the uh, uh, MV Mount Washington. And then the partnership kind of went away from the train and the boat. Well, we're excited to say that that's come back now. There's no uh, uh, partnership in a business sense in that one owns the other, but we've started to work together for the first time since the early 1900s. So you can actually now go to our station in Marath at 154 Main Street, purchase a ticket, and jump on the train at 10.30 in the morning, uh, take the train from Meredith down to Weir's Beach, down to Lakeport, right along the lakeshore, come back to Weir's Beach at noon, step off the train, go down the ramp, get right onto the boat, enjoy a two and a half hour cruise around the lake where you come right back to Weir's Beach, 
then you've got about a 40 minute time frame where you can enjoy shopping or the arcades at Weir's Beach and then step back onto the train at 4 o'clock, finish your trip into Meredith at 4.30. And the cool thing about this is it's only $39 for adults. That's amazing. 29 for kids, and kids four and under are actually free. That's great. So they can have lunch on the train, lunch on the boat. It's not included in the price, but it's available if they would like to do that. Or they can bring their own picnic lunch and have it at either location. That sounds great. Yeah, it's the ultimate lake tour for sure. Absolutely. And uh, we've had it in operation now for a couple of weeks. The boat's excited about it. We're excited about it. It's going well on into the future. That's great. Well, Paul, thanks so much for coming down today. Thanks, And uh, so if you need more information, go to HoboRR.com and uh, or give them a call. And definitely get out on that train. Yeah, and enjoy the train and the boat, too. It's a great experience. Plenty of time. We're going to do that till August uh, 24th this year. And then we'll start moving into our fall activities. Great. Paul, thanks so much. Thanks, Rob. And we'll be back here in a minute on White Mountains Today.